Developing now, an apartment fire in Fairfield leaves 30 people homeless just two weeks before Christmas. Our reporter Matt Fernandez brings us the story of a grandfather who lost everything in that blaze and nearly didn't make it out in time. Scary. It was scary. James Bell tells me he was staying in one of the upper units when the fire started around 1 o'clock Saturday morning. My neighbor came and knocked on the door and told me to get out because the fire apartment was on fire. Bell got out. The whole sky was lit up with fire. All you could see was fire, you know. Bell said the roof of his unit is gone. He just bought Christmas gifts for his grandchildren. Interior things can be replaced, but life is precious and the only one chance. Bell and the other people who were displaced stayed at City Hall until the Red Cross gave them debit cards to use for hotel rooms. Bell spoke with the management at the apartments. They're going to let us transfer to another property. They have two, three properties, so they said we can move all transfer to a sister property, you know, if we choose to. That was Matt Fernandez reporting. Well, now we're going to go to this story. New this morning, people around the state are still reacting to the execution of an inmate that looked like a disaster to many. 45 year old Ronald Burt Smith died by lethal injection late Thursday night at the Atmore prison. The execution lasted 30 minutes, but now we're learning that for 13 of those minutes, Smith was seen coughing, gasping, and squirming. But the corrections commissioner says this doesn't mean that Smith suffered. Smith was put to death after being convicted of killing a Huntsville convenience store clerk.